Welcome to section number seven on web servers. So far in the class, all of the applications we've created have only been accessible via the command line. Now that is a great way to get started, but it's not realistic for users. It would be much better if a user could simply type a URL in the browser to pull up and interact with our applications. And that is exactly what we're gonna start to work towards in this section. In this section, you'll be learning about one of the most popular NPM libraries out there, that is Express. Express makes it really easy to create web servers with Node. These servers are gonna allow us to serve up all of the assets for our web application. This includes HTML we're gonna to render to the screen, CSS to style our application, and client-side JavaScript so we can set up all sorts of awesome user interaction. Now, using Express, we're also gonna be able to serve up JSON data. That's what's gonna allow us to get the location from the user, convert it into a forecast, and then send the forecast back to the browser to have it rendered to the screen. Now, that's a lot of stuff, but don't worry. As always, we're gonna cover all of that in detail, step by step. Now, most courses start here with Express, but I think that's a rough way to go. Getting started with the fundamentals of Node is important, otherwise it can be hard to differentiate between what is Node and what is Express. Now that you're already familiar with the fundamentals of Node, it's gonna be so much easier to learn and master Express. Let's go ahead and jump right in. 